If you were outdoors earlier this afternoon, you might have found yourself looking for some relief from this extreme heat. This is day one of a week long heat wave that Eric mentioned. It's bringing uncomfortably high temperatures to the area and experts say we won't get much relief once the sun goes down. Leslie Huff explains how this early season heat wave is a departure from the norm. For the next six to seven days, prepare to feel the heat with temperatures reaching the 90s and possibly feeling even hotter. 21 storm tracker meteorologist Andrew DePaulo says the heat and humidity will be persistent. There's going to be a high amount of moisture content in the air. The higher the moisture, the higher the dew point. And when you relate that to the air temperature already in the low 90s, it could feel as hot as the mid to upper 90s, even pushing 100 degrees. And overnight temperatures are set to provide little relief from the scorching daytime temperatures. We're going to replace those nights in the 50s or even in the 60s to temperatures waking up in the low 70s, which means it's going to feel really muggy if you're trying to step out the door early on. It's an unusual climate for the month of June. Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm says what really sets this heat wave apart from ones in previous years is its duration. The unusual part of this week's heat is how long it's lasting. Of course, it's not unusual for it to get hot in the middle of the summertime, but to have six or seven days of 90 degree readings during the day and lower 70s at night, that's pretty unusual for any time of the summer, especially in the month of June. The last six day heat wave in the area came in June 1994 and it's been 81 years since a seven day one. So what's driving this possibly week long heat spell? It's the high pressure in the atmosphere that's providing minimal wind movement and keeping the cooler temperatures away. On a regional scale, our heat wave this week is the responsibility of a big ridge of high pressure that's building into the northeastern U.S. This ridge is unusual in its strength and its placement, it's something we usually see more in July and August. With more local news, I'm Leslie Huff.